USS Tulagi, CVE-72, was a Casablanca-class escort carrier of the United States Navy with a rich history. Initially laid down as Fortezella Bay, ACV-72, in June 1943, she was renamed to Fortaleza Bay, and then to Tulagi, being commissioned on December 21, 1943. During her service, Tulagi played a vital role in various operations. Tulagi's early duties involved transporting stores, aircraft, and military personnel between the United States and Hawaii. She underwent an overhaul and carrier qualification tests in Norfolk after arriving in March 1944. Her missions ranged from ferrying Army Air Force's planes to participating in Operation Dragoon, the invasion of southern France. Tulagi's noteworthy moments came on D-Day during Operation Dragoon when her aircraft played a crucial role, launching missions and strikes on enemy targets ashore. Later, in January 1945, while en route to Lingayen Gulf for the invasion of Luzon, she encountered numerous kamikaze attacks. These suicide attacks caused significant casualties and damage to the convoy, including the loss of Bomani Bay. However, Tulagi's anti-aircraft fire and fighter planes managed to fend off most of the attackers. In the following days, she supported the Lingayen Gulf beachhead and provided air cover. After her involvement in the invasion of the Philippines, Tulagi continued its service, participating in hunter-killer exercises and supporting the assault on Iwo Jima. Following that, she played a crucial role off the coast of Okinawa until early June 1945. After the war, she underwent overhaul and training on the West Coast, and peace arrived while she was at San Diego. She was decommissioned on April 30, 1946, and later struck from the Navy list. USS Tulagi earned four battle stars for her significant contributions during World War II. This escort carrier's history is a testament to her role in numerous operations and her resilience in the face of enemy attacks, making her a distinguished part of the United States Navy's service during World War II.